pull up Premiere and we can look at the audio loudness radar, create our own little easy way to get the right loudness for music. Because music is super simple. It literally is just turning it down to the right level. Sweet. So this one you said is just music. So go to the audio mixer. It's a window so, or a view or something in the top menus. Audio track mixer? Yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah, so that section with the faders and the knobs and stuff. So what we can, what we want to do is add this particular plugin onto the master mm -hmm. track. At the bottom, it says like audio one, audio two, audio three, and then master is the one all the way on the right. We're going to put this like plugin. It's like a meter just on the master. So the way to actually okay. show that is there's this little arrow right under where the controls, where it says controls, there's a little arrow like a, that's pointing to the right. Click that little arrow. So that opens up. Those are slots so you can put plugins on. So okay. we want to put plugin on the master. So if you go to that fourth section, I think we can just click on any of the drop downs. It's going to be maybe under special loudness radar. Yep. Okay. So when you first put it on, that little control is saying target loudness. So let's go ahead and just change that. You can like probably double click on the number and change it to minus 16 or drag it up. Now that we've set the target, there's gonna be a little plugin window that'll open up. If you click on the name of it up there at the top. That's there right. it is. So negative 16 is gonna be like our block church standard. So we want okay. we want our audio, and I do this for every video, is make it overall, the entire video, hit about negative 16. So at this point, there's one other number we might wanna change. Click the settings tab. And let's change it from radar speed. It says four minutes. How long is the whole video? Yeah. Uh, the videos should be like a minute long. Yeah, so you could just change that down to a minute. And then go back to the radar and just go back to the beginning of the timeline and just hit play. So the beginning of music is usually quieter, but then like in the main bulk of it, is usually where it's right. like the louder part. Like when the drums kick in or the bass kicks in, something like that. Yeah. So we're actually really close to where we want to be anyway. Um, maybe even a little under. So you see like in the radar, the line, like that one circle that we're pretty close to. And just now we went over the line. That's right. the target line. So all the way at the edge would okay. be too loud. So, the, the so, so this line is the target. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Gotcha. So let's just go ahead and let it finish. We're almost done. Sweet. So at the bottom right, that minus fifteen point one. That's the like overall loudness. So you could tell while we were playing it, the first half was all uh, like under the target, but the second half was all yeah. over the target. All over it, yeah. And, and it didn't balance itself out. So overall it was a little too loud. So now you can mm -hmm. see like, we just need to change it by just about one decibel. So if you just go to your mixer again, or maybe you can even do it from the timeline. We just want to pull the fader down like 0.9 decibels or even just one decibel. So whatever the easiest way for you to do that is. I don't know if it's on the clip, like a clip clip gain or something, or just in the fader of the of the audio track. Yeah. You pull it down. Yeah, so in the timeline, if I double click on the side, there's this white line that runs through the entire thing. Yep, yep, uh, I do see that. So that's that's that that's that volume. So yeah. I I just did that. You want me to play it again? Yeah, you could just and or, then we could see like did it hit the target this time or is there a different amount we need to adjust by? But I think we'll probably be like right on. Yeah, it looks like it will. Yeah. So with music, it's literally just that. Target minus 16, and then let it play through, and then just look at the number and adjust the music to get to minus 16. Whether it's, if the number is like minus 15, which is higher, you want to pull it down. Of course, we're talking with negative numbers, so it kind of makes it sound like it's confusing, but. Yeah. I think that should be it. And then. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit over. Yeah, and so even if it ends up at like 16.2 or 15.9, whatever, it doesn't matter that much. 
that will be really close to the expected range. Gotcha. Sweet. Yeah, 15.8. I'm pretty happy with that unless you like before, maybe right now before you bounce it, you could just pull it down a tiny bit more and then just render it out or whatever and you'd be good. Okay. Could I always just like come over here? Because this would also be... That would do the same adjustment. Yep. So yeah. you could just pull that down by like 0.2 to make that final adjustment. Um, so there's, I guess there's a difference between like when you're in your timeline and you make a change, you're just affecting that like one clip. But all those audio yeah. clips, if you have multiple regions, are all in like different lanes. So those right. faders are basically your three different lanes. And I'm sure you can create more than three lanes if you have Yeah, a absolutely. And then the master is like the overall volume of everything or overall plugins on everything. Okay. So you always want to put that radar on the master. So this radar on the master. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's cool. it.